Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Michael and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered video for you guys on the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the nuclear metal making a return within Modern Warfare Remastered. So if you guys could slap a like on today's video, that'd be very much appreciated. And also please be sure to be subscribed if you guys are brand new for daily Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. With that all being said, let's get right on into today's video. <laughs> So as you guys know, within the original Modern Warfare game, they actually never had any kind of medals within the game. Every kill felt rewarding, but not as rewarding as it would feel if you actually earned a medal. Now one minor change that Raven Software actually made when making Modern Warfare Remastered was actually adding medals to the game. And within the actual multiplayer trailer for Modern Warfare Remastered, we actually get a glimpse at one of the medals, the Bloodthirsty Medal. Now as you guys know, the Bloodthirsty Medal was first found within Black Ops 2. It was basically a reward for getting 5 kills without dying. And that medal was actually brought back within Advanced Warfare as well as within Black Ops 3. Now of course every 5 kills until the nuclear medal, you would actually get a new medal leading up to it. So at 5 kills you got the Bloodthirsty, at 10 kills you got the Merciless, at 15 kills you got the Ruthless, at 20 kills you got the Relentless, at 25 kills you got the Brutal, and at 30 kills you got the Nuclear. Then any kill you got after the Nuclear, you actually got the Unstoppable Medal. Now of course when Treyarch actually brought these medals within the original Black Ops 2 game, everyone went crazy for it because the Nuclear was a very very high thing that only a few of the very very good players could actually get. And honestly it just made the game way more fun for the more skilled players and the players that just want to go on and challenge themselves a little bit more than the average player. Now of course with this nuclear medal there was a bunch of pop stompers actually trying to get it and break certain world records like getting a triple nuclear in a game or even five or six nuclears in one game. It was very very crazy and it brought a lot of life to the game and it's really awesome because now it's confirmed that at least the bloodthirsty is confirmed to be making a return within Modern Warfare Remastered and within other gameplays online I've seen the Merciless medal and there's probably gameplay of the Ruthless medal and so on which can mean a couple things. One is that we're actually going to be getting the nuclear medal, going on a 30 gun streak, and you will actually achieve it. Or you might get the vicious medal from Advanced Warfare, which is 30 kills combining your gun and your score streaks. Or a completely new thing altogether. Of course, within Modern Warfare Remastered, I think the kill streaks are way too overpowered, and I think they'll make it way too easy to actually get the vicious medal. So my money is actually on the nuclear returning within the game. So please let me know down below within the comment section what you guys think about this brand new nuclear medal returning within Modern Warfare Remastered. I am honestly so hyped for this, and I can't wait to play the game when it's fully released on November the 4th. So I really hope that all of you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to slap a like on it. That'd be very much appreciated. And also, please be sure to be subscribed if you guys are brand new for daily Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. With that all being said, I'll see you guys later with another brand new video.